All right, time for heat race the number one here in your Midwest Modifieds. Brought to you by Power Eye. On the road, number one on the inside. It's going to be the 42W of Matt Brandstetter. On Matt's outside, the 292 of Kyle Thompson, last week's winner. On the road, number two on the inside. It's going to be the number 64, Pete Richardson, last week's second place. On his outside, starting from the fourth position, Tyler Dawson, your current points leader. On Tyler's outside. Sorry, Tyler is the outside. Row number three, the 7W of Wesley Breedlove is going to start from the fifth spot. And on his outside, the 55B of Melvin Bressy. Heat race number one, eight laps the distance. Lights are out. Time to go racing, my friends. Again, 42W of Brandstetter. Thompson on his outside. Richardson Dawson, row number two, Breedlove Bressy. Row number three. 17 entries in our Power Eye Midwest Modifieds. Coming around, turn three and four. Green flag, here we go. Drag race in a turn number one, the 292 into the lead. That's going to be Kyle Thompson. The 42 of Matt Brandt Center will fall back to the second spot, racing side by side with Pete Richardson for that second position. Advantage on the top side so far for the 42 W. Brandstetter holding on that second spot. The 292 of Kyle Thompson leading lap number one by a distance of 1.189 seconds. Kyle Thompson out front. Pete Richardson trouble as he slow down the back stretch. We'll see if that brings out the caution. He gets things back in order. He falls back to the five spot. 1.01 1 .01 second lead for Kyle Thompson over the 42W of Matt Brandstetter. Looks like a lot more from here. The eye test says so anyway. 195, Tyler Dawson currently your third position. Melvin Bussey holding on to fourth. Something really wrong with the 64 machine as he takes her to the back. Tough break for last week's second spot finisher of Pete Richardson. 292, Kyle Thompson out front over the 42 machine of Matt Brandstetter. Dawson to the inside, gonna push a little buttons as he comes into turn four. Down the front stretch, and they go. Two ninety-two, Kyle Thompson out front by a hole straightaway over the forty-two W of Matt Brandstetter. Fast lap there for the two ninety-two of Kyle Thompson. white flag this next time by. One to go for your lead of the 292, Kyle Thompson. 42W, Matt Branson to hold on to the second spot. Your points leader, 195, in that third position. Coming around turn number four, taking the win here in your Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race number one. The 292 of Kyle Thompson. And coming in second, the 42W of Matt Branstetter. Tyler Dawson coming home third. And the 55B of Melvin Bressy finishing in the fourth spot. Wesley Breedlove down the front stretch finishing his race. Excellent racing from heat race number one of our Power Eye Midwest Modified. if you don't mind, while we get things lined up back there. I've got tickets. I'm looking for a red ticket. It's going to be ticket, all the zeros, 3706. Ticket number 3706, come see me up here in the announcer's booth. 
3706. Ooh, the wind almost blew my ticket away. Again, 3706. Get the first giveaway of the night. As we get heat race number two in your Power Eye Midwest Modifieds lined up. How about another ticket? Uh, I'm going to mix that one up. Going all the way to the bottom for this one. Red ticket number 3587. So I'm looking for 3706 and 3587. Come up and see me in the announcer's booth all the way at the top. I'm sorry if you're afraid of heights, but that's just the way it is. Looks like we got one winner coming up. We'll see which one it is. We got our winner for the 3706. Getting a free Team 69 t-shirt. Brought to you by Brian Brown. All right, time for heat race number two coming onto the track here. Inside a row number one is gonna be number three in a Cave Springs, Arkansas, Mason Martin. On us outside, the number 48 of Bryson Stringer out of Seneca, Missouri. Inside, row number two, the number 33 out of Sparta, Missouri of Steve Muhlenberg. On us outside, Tyler Newson out of Lebanon, Missouri and the number four. Inside, row number three, the number 17 of Rick Lampy out of Fairgrove, Missouri. And on us outside, Rocky McCleary out of Seneca, Missouri in the 06. Martin Stringer, front row, Muhlenberg, Newson. Row number two, Lampy McCleary. Row number three. Take your pick. Who's going to win it? Again, still looking for ticket number 3587. Come see me in the announcer's booth. If I ignore you, it's just because I'm a little busy at the moment. But I'm also going to be busy all night, so. We got our ticket winner for 3587. Going out with Team 69 hat. Green flag, here we go. Heat race number 28 laps the distance, jumping out to a quick lead. It's gonna be the number three of Mason Martin. Down the back set she goes with the number 33 of Steve Muhlenberg in tow. Martin, your leader coming around, turn number four, leading lap number one here. Number three of Mesa Martin, Steve Muhlenberg, just three tenths of a second behind. Tyler Newsom able to jump up all the way to that third spot. Braxton Stringer falls back to fourth. Rick Lampy holding on to that fifth spot. Rocky McCleary rounding out of your field. Side by side, out front, the number three of Mason Martin, Steve Muhlenberg. Muhlenberg on the bottom side, looking to take the lap. Number two, not able to get it that time by. Martin holding on strong, advantage top side that time. Mason Martin, number three machine, going into turn number three with the lead. Muhlenberg right behind him. Going to look to make some moves down here at the bottom. A little smoke from the 33 machine as he comes off of turn number four. A little damage to the four I've seen as he comes by the flag stand. That's Tyler Newson in that third spot. Mason Martin still out front holding on by three tenths of a second over Muhlenberg. Muhlenberg really drag, dragging it in. On that inside, looking to take the lead. Stringer gets a little wild up top, turn number four. He'll lose the position to Rick Lampy there. Mason Martin still with the lead here halfway through. 
your Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race number two. He's got Muhlenberg all over. You could throw a blanket over your top two. They are so close. That's all racing here in our Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race number two. Mason Martin holding on by two tenths of a second over the 33. Both lead cars are about a whole straightaway over the third place car of Tyler Newsom as they come around here. Lap number five in the books. Here comes lap number six. Mason Martin still out front. Muhlenberg falling back just a little bit this last time by the eight tenths of a second. Four seconds back to your third place car. Side by side racing action for fourth and fifth spot. That's gonna be Bryce Estrander, Rick Lampy. White flag this time by for the number three of Mason Martin. Muhlenberg no chance of catching him at this pace. Still holding on to that third spot. Tyler Newson, number 13. There's number 13. I'm just going crazy. Mason Martin coming around to number four. Take the win here in your heat race. Number two over Steve Muhlenberg in the number 33. Steve Muhlenberg finishing a 1.88 seconds behind the number three of Mason Martin. Tyler Newson coming in third. Rick Lampy fourth. And Rocky and McCleary on that 06 machine rounding out your top five. Bryce and Stringer taking to the back early. He'll finish two laps down from the rest of the field. Again, Mason Martin, the number three machine out front, dominant over the 33 of Steve Muhlenberg. Newtson coming in third. And Rick Lampy rounding out your top four. That'll do it for your Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race number two. Heat Race number three making its way onto the track right now. Starting on row number one on the inside, it's going to be number 10 out of Republic, Missouri, of Logan Parker. On his outside, four-time winner this year already, looking to make it number five, the 929 out of Joplin, Missouri, of Garrett Thompson. On row number two on the inside, it's going to be Nathan Young out of Springfield, Missouri, and number 14 on his outside, Danny Miller out of Purdy, Missouri, and the number 55. And starting on the bubble all by his lonesome, the 12 and Mr. Birthday Boy himself, Happy 56th birthday to Ron Maple, starting in the fifth spot tonight. Parker Thompson, row number one, Young Miller. Row number two, lights are out. Maple's all by him's lonesome in the back. Eight race, number three, your power eye, Midwest Modifieds. Green flag, here we go. Thompson, what he's doing all year, out front. 929, Garrett Thompson out front over the 55 of Danny Miller. He's got Ron Maples already up to challenge for that second spot. Maples looking to the bottom side. He'll take that second spot away from the 55 of Danny Miller. Garrett Thompson out front. 1.356 seconds over the number 12 of Ron Maples. Ron Maples looking to reel it in here. The night is young, the race is young. Maples a little high, holding on to that second spot. Makes the diamond of the track, he'll hold on. Again, Garrett Thompson at 9.29 with a 19.19 second lap that last time by Ron Maples holding on. The second, a little bit slower of a lap, but he ran off the track just a little bit. He's still doing all right, holding on to the second spot. Danny Miller's currently in third. Nathan Young and Logan Parker rounding out the field here. Logan Parker actually shitting in that fourth spot, not showing up on our My Race Pass, but he is currently fourth over the 14 of Nathan Young. Meanwhile, out front, speaking of four, we're halfway through heat race number three in our Power Eye Midwest Modified heat race number three. 29 of Garrett Thompson out front by two seconds over the 12M of Ron Maples. Danny Miller holding on to that second spot. Hole straight away back from that second position. We'll see if Ron Maples can make up any ground on this next one. He does not. Garrett Thompson holding on to a two second lead over the 12M. Maples again just a little bit high, exiting turn number two. Number 55 of Danny Miller holding on to three. No real racing here going on on the track yet. No side-by-side -side racing. Of course, there's racing out there. It's the 929 to Garrett Thompson out front here. Of your Power Eye Midwest Modified, he raced number three, 2.1 seconds. 
now over the 12 M of Ron Maples. White flag coming out for your leader of the 929 if you're in tops. Ron Maples holding on that second spot. If you're looking for third, he is another seven, oh, eight seconds, almost eight and a half seconds back from your second spot. Number 10 collecting the wall, coming out of turn number four, but it's a 929 of Garrett Thompson taking the win over the 12M of Ron Maples by 2.2 seconds. Here comes your third place car. It's going to be the 55 of Danny Miller. 14 just out here showing off now. That's Nathan Young. He'll come home in the four spot. Again, the 929 of Garrett Thompson doing what he does out front over Ron Maples in the 12M. Danny Miller coming home third. Nathan Young in that fourth position. That'll do it for our Power Ride Midwest Modifieds. Coming out next, we got the Power Ride Pure Stocks. 18, I believe. 18 entries tonight. As they make their way on to the track, starting from the pole. At 11 of Missouri, the number four of Caleb Rhodes. On Caleb's outside, it's going to be the 64 of Brandon Sanders coming in seconds last week. Inside our row, number two out of Miami, Oklahoma, going to be the number 45 of Wayne Morris. On Wayne's outside, the number 23R of Jeffrey. Inside a row number three out of Bodark, Missouri, the 33T of Tyrell Jones. On us outside out of Rogersville, Missouri, the 531 of Jordan Godard. I apologize to everybody watching on Facebook at home. Are we live? All right. If you would, please join me on Show Me Dirt on Facebook. We are live. I'd say if you jump on Show Me Dirt right now, tag a couple friends, be sure to like Show Me Dirt and the Money at Motor Speedway. We might give away a couple pay-per-views in the future here. Joining at random, again, it's Show Me Dirt on Facebook. Rhodes and Sanders, row number one. Morris Reed, row number two. Jones and Goddard, row number three. Green flag, here we go. He reached number one on your power eye. Pure stops. Tyrell Jones already looking to make some moves, already up to that third spot. Brandon Sanders already up to the point. Tyrell Jones right behind him as they go down the back stretch. All over the back bumper, 64. Sanders gonna shut the door on that top side. Tyrell's gonna look to the bottom, coming around the lap number one. Gonna be Sanders with the lead here. Tyrell's gonna fake him out, kinda look to go the hard way around. Thinks better of it, looks down to the bottom side. Number 33 of Tyrell Jones, looking to take the lead here off of turn number two. Brandon Sanders on that outside. Tyrell Jones now with the lead. Tyrell Jones out front, Brandon Sanders in that second spot. Wayne Morris in the fourth, third position rather. Two laps in the books, 33T of Tyrell Jones out front by half a second over the 64 of Brandon Sanders. 45 of Wayne Morris looking to go under the 64, trying to take that second spot away. That beautiful number four, Caleb Rhodes holding on to that fourth spot. 531 of Goddard looks go on that top side, able to, not able to make anything of it. Looks down to the bottom. This will be his fight for that fourth spot. He'll tuck it back behind the number four of Caleb Rhodes. Coming halfway through your Power Eye Pure Stock Heat Race, number one, Tyrell Jones out front. 
by 2.22 seconds. 64 of Brandon Sanders. He's got his work cut out for him. He's got 45 of Wayne Morris all over his back bumper. Also side-by-side -side racing for the fourth position between the number four of Rhodes and Goddard. Tyrell Jones out front by three quarters of a straightaway here on lap number five. Brandon Sanders still got Wayne Morris right to his inside. Number four of Rhodes able to get away from that 53. He's going to try to enter himself for that second spot. Six laps in the books. Here comes your leader, the 33T of Tyrell Jones. All by his lonesome off front. Coming to the white flag here, the 33T. Tyrell Jones still side by side for third and fourth. Second and fourth, rather. Ooh, a little bumping action going on. They really want that fourth position. The 53 is going to lose a bumper over the whole deal. Meanwhile, out front, Tyrell Jones coming home to the win. Easy win here in heat race number one of your Power Eye Pure Stocks. Meanwhile, for that second spot, it's going to be the 64, Brandon Sanders. Wayne Morris coming in a close third. Caleb Brown losing that position there on that last lap. The 531 at Goddard. Gonna have to hit a little rivet gun action. Coming home for it. And the 23R of Jeff Reed rounding out your field there. Again, Tyrell Jones taking the win there. Brandon Sanders and Wayne Morris rounding out your top three of your heat race number one, your Power Eye Pure Stocks heat race number two coming out right now. Out front, you heard him making his announcement. I'm on the track. It's Neosho, Missouri's quarter machine of Tom Scroggins starting from the pole. On us outside at 11 of Missouri, the number six of Corey Henson. Inside a row number two in the number 54 machine out of Berryville, Arkansas. It's going to be Dean Kimberling. On us outside of row of Missouri is number 17 of Landon McLaughlin. Last week, flipping out of turn number three, number 55 has been Bab got a Camaro this week. Currently third in points on us outside the 57 out of Bentonville, Arkansas of Rick Raspberry. Scroggins, Henson, row number one, Kimberling McLaughlin, row number two. Bab and Raspberry in the rear here. He race number two, getting ready to make its way. Hey, we jumped from 12 to 58, watching live at home, 56. We appreciate you. I'm sure some of you are here. We appreciate that big time. Great flag here, Monet Motor Speedway, heat race number two. Scrog, it's in that quarter machine. Oh, it's traditionally fast here at Monet Motor Speedway. He's got Landon McLaughlin. McLaughlin started the season off with a couple wins. Whoa, we got some cars getting together here. Hopefully we got that on the camera. Middle of the backstretch. That'll be an automatic restart here. Rick Raspberry getting together with the, I believe, the sixth machine there of Corey Henson. Raspberry shows his displeasure. It was more of a croissant than it was a donut. So it was a half, half a donut, a fancy croissant. It'll be an original restart, so that'll put Scroggins, Henson back out front. Ben Babb losing his flag on the back stretch. We have a lucky fan. Gets to take home a souvenir. Just some wild man going out stealing American flags. All right, we'll get this thing lined up here again. Again, 56 watching at home on Facebook on Show Me Dirt. We appreciate you all. Miss Wilda Smith tagging all her friends. Cheryl Brock Thompson, hello my friends. All right, while we get things all lined up here, I'm gonna draw a, let's see, what do I got here? 
Let's do a kid's one. Parents, if you've got your kids as tickets, it'll be a blue ticket. We'll do ticket number 101392. Again, that ticket's number 101392, blue ticket. Come up and see me here in the announcer's booth. Ticket number 101392. We might have a winner. I'll tell you what, I'll meet you right there. I'll give a big round of applause for this man. Uh, well, wait, well, let's see if he actually has the ticket number. <laughs> I don't want to. And he wins! Good job, buddy. Round of applause. You get a free shirt. Don't leave me hanging. Thank you, buddy. You keep that. That's a souvenir. Hope you have fun, guys. Sorry. Hey, big thank you to Sun Solar hanging out with us here at Mona Motor Speedway. I appreciate you guys coming out. If you're thinking about going solar, give them guys a call. Or visit them at ussunsolar.com. Lineup is right. Lights are out. Let's go back to racing here. Quarter machine. Scroggins gets things started. Landon McLaughlin on his outside. Let's go racing. Bumping and grinding before we even get to the flag stands. McLaughlin on the inside. Going to give Scroggins a run for his money. Down the back. Strasser bumping and grinding. Side by side into turn number three. McLaughlin's going to have the lead here on lap number one. Scroggins pushed it to the inside. Scroggins going to give him no room. All over that back bumper here at the number 17. McLaughlin out front top. Scroggins in that quarter machine. Currently in that second spot. A beautiful 54 of Dean Kimberling holding on to third. Bab made his way up to fourth. And then falls back to fifth. Troubles. Troubles are the 57 machine. I believe he's got something locked up. That'll bring out caution one more time. I'm not sure what was going on with the 57, but he was weebling and wobbling. Again, Lana McLaughlin out front. Him and Tom Scroggins just battling out. I mean, when I say battling it out, they were battling in it out for that lead. <laughs> All right. Big thank you to Metro Towings. Hey, speaking of Metro Towings, let's find something that they gave me tonight. Ooh. Something different than a t-shirt. Let me get to my ticket, Meister. I am looking for a red ticket again. Ticket number 3738. And you know what? Let's do two of them while we're at it. All the way to the bottom. Here I go. Again, ticket number 3738. Come and see me. I didn't look, and I grabbed two blue tickets. We can't give kids this. Ticket number 3596. 3738 and 3596. Come see me in the announcer's booth. I got a couple things for you. Somebody's gonna like this. Three, seven, three, eight. Hey, we got a winner. Well, I can't give her any Team 69 stuff. She's already got, she's all decked out already. But I can give her something of my match. First time here. Hey, give a round of applause. First time here. Three, seven, three, eight. Yes, ma'am. Napa hat. Yes, ma'am. Appreciate you for coming out. And we got three, five, nine, six, another winner here. We got a tumbler, something fancy, something a little different. We appreciate you for coming out. Monet Motor Speedway again. This is mystery night. You never know what I'm going to give out. I've even got some 200 some dollar prizes. I know I'm sorry you got a cup, but hey, stick around. You never know. So is to get the 57 rounded up here. 
I do. Oh my gosh, I have so much things to give away. Let's see here. Well, I did met mention Metro towing. Let's do. Sorry, children. This one's going to be another adult one. Let's do a little uh, Metro towing giveaway brought to you by <coughs> Metro Towing. 3612, ticket number 3612. I'm sorry. I can't I can't see your ticket from here, so I can't call your number. Metro Towing giving away something here. Let me open it, see what it is. Ticket number 3612. I want to know what I'm giving away. Again, that ticket number 3612. Little mystery night. Thank you for coming out to Monet Motor Speedway. I can't. Let me see if I can see through it. This hurts my eyes. Well, you're going to have to open it in front of me. If you win it, you have to open it in front of me and tell me what you want so we can be excited about it together. Did you win? Oh, look at that. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my friends here from Unforgotten Heroes. Let's give a huge hand for her. What'd you win? Let's find out together. I'm going to sit because my knees hurt. Oh yeah, hey, that's a reminder. Yeah, don't su don't su oh. don't sit in the yellow. What'd you win? It's a gift certificate for sixty-five dollars for Metro Towing of Neo Show, Joplin, or Springfield. Congratulations! I hope you don't need any towing anytime soon. So that's kind of a gift and a curse, I guess. Thank you, Miss Christie. <laughs> I meant me. I can't tell the tell you guys the rules and then not follow them myself. <laughs> Again, big thank you to Metro Towing. Getting everything cleaned up. Tough break for the 57 of Rick Raspberry. Driving all the way from Bentonville, Arkansas. Again, we got over 60 watching at home. We appreciate you all. Greg Maxwell, we appreciate you. In Northwest Arkansas, USA. Second thought, maybe I shouldn't have had that energy drink before we started the night. It's more tickets. Thank you. Time for a water break. Hey, speaking of water break, be sure to go down and visit the Pit Stop Grill. Get your hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog. Get your chili dog, nachos, chili cheese nachos, candy, popcorn, chips. Also new this year, we got Frito Pie. I was told to push the kielbasa dog with grilled onions. $6 tonight. You can help get it down with a little bit of Coke, Diet Coke, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, root beer, sweet tea, Powerade, or water. One for four or two for six. Lineup is right. Delaware double file restart. Lena McLaughlin out front. Quarter machine of Scroggins and Dean Kimberling. Row number two and the number six. Of Corey Henson all by their lonesome in that fourth spot. McLaughlin brings them around three and four. Hits that loud pedal. Here we go. Three wide down the front stretch. Here we go. This is never going to work three wide. Going into turn number one and two. Oh, the 54 machine gets spun around. Let's see if they can get her back going. He stalls the machine. And that will bring out the caution. Uno mas. Time. I don't know the Spanish word for time, so I shouldn't have even said the first two words. Uh oh, somebody's getting pushed into turn one. And that's too much, sir. I need you all to pay attention to tonight's villain, Miss Kaylin in the flag stand, about to shake it at the number 17. She tried her best.
that is his warning for the night. We like hard racing, but we don't like hard racing under cautions. Driver safety is super important to us. We'll get them all lined back up and go green flag racing this next time by again. Go down and visit the Pit Stop Grill. Also go down and visit the Beer, sh beer Shack. Visit Miss Lisa down there. We got your ice cold Budweiser, Bud Light, Bush, and Mick Ultra. Thank you to the almost 70 watching from home on the book face. Yeah, I'm sure some of you are here. We appreciate that. Spread the word. Spread the love of Monet Motor Speedway. Scroggins, get them started out of turn number one. <laughs> Green flag, here we go. Scroggins and McLaughlin into turn number one. Down to... Uh, down the back stretch. McLaughlin on the inside. Scroggins pushing him down the bottom. Scroggins on the top side in the gray machine. The black and pink machine of McLaughlin on the bottom side. Side by side down the front stretch. They bump. McLaughlin with the race lead coming out of turn number four. Black flag to the quarter machine. So each gentleman out front has been warned. Lana McLaughlin with about a two second lead visually over the quarter machine to Tom Scroggins. Dean Kimberlin currently in that third spot. Corey Henson at a number six machine currently in fourth. Two laps are halfway through. Let me start over. Heat race number two. Four laps in the book. Power eye pure stock. Here we are. Leanna McLaughlin, number 17, out front. Two and a half second lead. Almost three second lead of the quarter machine of Scrog and Steen Kimberly currently in that third spot. I must have missed something because number six of Corey Henson has pulled off. Three cars to battle it out. The 54 of Dean Kimberling on the bottom side. He'll hit the quarter machine. McLaughlin, Kimberling, Scroggins, your top three, your whole field so far. McLaughlin bringing around three and the four. He'll look for the white flag this next time by. White flag coming out for Landon McLaughlin. Over a six second lead over the quarter machine, or the uh, 54 machine of Dean Kimberling. It's going to be 6.31. As a matter of fact, problems on the quarter machine as he comes down the front stretch. I don't know if it's a little tire rub or what's going on. Checkers for the 17 machine of Lana McLaughlin coming home with the win. Dean Kimberling coming in on that second spot. Unofficially, the quarter machine of Tom Scroggins finishing third as he pulls to the back. That'll do it for a Power Eye Pure Stocks. Out next, your B modified class. I was just kidding. One more heat, and I've already crumpled up my paper. What good of an announcer am I? 75 watching from home. Golly, we're fancy. All right. Let's see if I can read through the crumples here. Starting on the pole out of Marshville, Missouri, the number 12 of Greg Dijkstra. Dijkstra. On his outside out of Purdy, Missouri, the number 69 of Dylan Bowman. Inside row number two, the number seven out of Fairgrove, Missouri, of Carla Lampy. Carla's outside out of Eagle Rock, Missouri, the number 15 of John Hi, Renewix. Somebody please message me on Facebook, tell me how to say that. Inside row number three, the number 14 out of Falcon, Missouri, 
Jonathan Finley on Jonathan's outside current points leader, number 53 out of Springfield, Missouri, of Kevin Young. Dykstra Bowman, row number one, Lampy Harnix, row number two, and Hindley, Finley, and Yacht. Row number three, words are hard. Lights are out. It is time. Heat race at number three in your Power Eye Pure Stocks, which I thought were over. Dykstrick brings them around. Turn number four. Let's get this thing started. Bowman on the top side looks to go around. Number seven on the bottom side. It's going to be three wide almost. Going into turn number one, coming out of turn number two, number seven of Lampy on the bottom side, three wide down the back stretch. Carla Lampy in the seven coming out with the lead here. Bowman right behind, but he's got the 12 of Dykstra on his inside. Lampy leading lap number one. Of course, everybody just ran their fastest lap. Bowman spinning in turn number two. Also, we've got a spin in the 15. That'll bring out the first caution here in Heat Race, a number three. Hey, I know I mentioned a little bit about my, my friends, uh, Christy Looney and Adam Kaltenbach being here with Unforgotten Heroes. Normally I wear that shirt every week. This week I'm wearing my firefighter shirt. But we, every once in a while we have our friends, Adam and Christy here with Unforgotten Heroes. They just started that deal in October of 2021. They focus on the kids and veterans, the kids of veterans and service members AKA Fire and Police. They're involved with the Price Cutter Charity Championship. Also involved with the Springfield Cardinals. They're gonna be the pace car this year for making strides for breast cancer in October. They are also veteran owned. They're gonna be back here August 6th to race with us. Be sure to go to their Facebook page. Share everything you can on them. Mr. Johnny Rusher, we appreciate you watching at home. Joshua Sharpley, Greg Maxwell, we appreciate you all watching at home or here. I don't know where you are. If you're here, show some love. Hit that little love button on there. Lights are out. Carla Lampy out front. Green flag, here we go. A lampy leads him. Into turn number one, a yacht. Hot on the tail of the number seven. Bowman and Dykstra side by side as they went through two. Now going into turn number three and four for that third spot. Little smoke from the 53rd machine of yacht. Lampy still out front in that number seven machine out front by almost a six-tenth of a second. Over the 53 of your points leader, Kevin Young. 20.869 last lap for. Lampy out front, Yance in that second spot. Dyster's holding on to that third spot. Moment. Having 
trouble as he spins for the second time. Number 14 of Jonathan Finley able to get around him, avoid contact. Not your typical racing you see from the number 69 of Dylan Bowman. Out front, number seven of Carla Lampy. As they go down the front stretch, 53 at Kevin Yaw, currently in that second spot. Greg Dykstra in that third position, and number 14 of Jonathan Finley in fourth. Rounding out your top five is going to be the 69 of Dylan Bowman. Lampy gets things started off a of turn uh, number three. Green flag, here we go. Yawn a little smoke again as we start things off here. Two laps in the book, six to go. Lampy fast, fast out front in that number seven machine. Kevin Yawn in second spot. Dykstra in third. Lampy out front by one second. Another six tenths of a second back to Dystra, And two seconds back to Jonathan Finley. Of course, that gets stretched out here as we get a little further down. Halfway through your heat race, number three of your power eye, pure stop. Everybody pretty stretched out here. Carla Lampy still holding on to that lead here. Kevin Yaw in that second position. And Dykstra rounding out your top three. Man, a lot of smoke coming out for that 53 machine. Hopefully it's something as simple as a rub issue. Five and a half. Almost six laps in the books. Power Eye Pure Stocks Heat Race number three. The number 14 machine of Finley pulls her off the track. Number seven of Carla Lampy still out front by 1.2 seconds. Coming around to the white flag a one more time around for the number seven of Carla Lampy. Currently holding a 1.2 second lead over the 53 of your points champion of Kevin Yon. Only three cars left on the track. The number seven, 53 and 12. One more turn, here it is, coming down the front stretch. The number seven taking the first heat race win of 2022 here at Mona Motor Speed, the number seven of Carla Lampy. Kevin Yaw coming in 1.6 seconds behind the number seven machine and Greg Dykstra finishing third. That will officially do it for our Power Eye Pure Stocks. Up next, now we got some B-modified action. Hey, you know who I think could use a free oil change from RNC Tire? Ticket number 3770. Come and see me in the announcer's booth. Ticket number 3770 gets a free oil change from RNC Tire. I also feel like giving away another hat. These are fancy little hats if you're a race fan here at Moto Motor Speedway. Ticket number 3749. So 3770 and 3749. Come and see me in the announcer's booth. Get you some free merch on the house. Again, that ticket number 3770 for a free oil change. And then I got a free hat brought to you by Napa Racing here from 3749. Greg Woodcock's going to start on the front row out of the pole. Jared Hilton in the number 11 on his outside. James Turnbull. 
Row number two on the inside, and the 55T on its outside. Kelly Chick Hicks, last week's winner, the number 32. And uh, all by their lonesome out of Urbana, Missouri, the number 55 of Colson Kirk, ready to get things started here. Woodcock hits that lap pedal, green flag, here we go. Woodcock with the lead going down the back stretch off by his lonesome, already with a three card lead. He's got Hilton and Turnbull right behind him, side by side for second. He's gonna lead lap number one, number 22 of Brick Woodcock. Hilton assumes that second spot. Side by side, it's gonna be a pair of 55s. Yellow and blue 55s gonna be James Colson, Colson Kurt on the inside, on his outside, going to be number 55 of James Turnbull, side by side, a little bumping and grinding going on for that third spot, meanwhile out front, number 22 of Greg Woodcock, holding on to the lead here in he race number one of your B modifieds, 1.47 second lead that last time by, let's see if they can extend it this time, Jaron Hills 1.78, two seconds behind in his number 11 machine, Colson Kirk, Reeling them in as they go down the back stretch. Colson's gonna pop down to the bottom side. Throws a haymaker to the 11. Side by side, I think he's got it on that bottom side. 55 of Colson taking that second spot away. Jared Hill's gonna move back to third. James Turnbull looking to get advance as well. Number 22 of Greg Woodcock out front. Colson Kirk looks to reel him in here. He's got Three more laps to do it this last time by. Five in the books, three to go. Woodcock out front. 55 of Colson Kirk. Holding on that second spot, Jared Hilton. In third, the 55 of James Turnbull and Kelly Chick Hicks rounding out the field here. Two to go this time by. Greg Woodcock out front in the number 22 machine on his outside. I don't know what I was talking about with outside. Here comes the white flag for my man, the number 22 of Greg Woodcock. Trying to make it another one in the column for the 2022 season here. Colson Kirk trying to reel him in. I don't think he's got enough time. Jared Hills apparently sitting out in third spot. James Trimble in fourth. 1.917 second lead for Woodcock as he breaks his way down the front stretch, checks that checkered flat. 55 of Colson finishes 1.6 seconds behind. Greg Woodcock, Hilton finishes third, Turnbull fourth, and Kelly Chickens rounding at Al for everybody not watching on Facebook. Now let us a little quieter here in the stadium. 22 of Greg Woodcock taking home the win there. In heat race number one of our B modifies, Colton Colson Kirk in the 55 coming home in second. Jared Hilton rounding out your top three. James Turnbull, Kelly Chickens. Finishing out the field here comes Heat Race, a number two starting on the pole. Hopefully he's got everything fixed up. Took a pretty hard lick here a couple weeks ago out of Shell Not Missouri, your pole sitter. The number one of Rusty Ricker. On us outside out of Bodark, Missouri, the number nine of Darren Chrysler. Inside a row, number two. Out of Springdale, Arkansas, the 17H of Weston Holman. On us outside is gonna be the number 42 of Steve Worf out of Pearson, Missouri. And starting the F1 machine, from the rear is going to be Mitchell Franklin out of Camdenton, Missouri. Big thank you to the almost 70 washer from home now. Excited to watch B modify he race number two. Be sure to jump on Show Me Dirt. Dot TV. Get that pay-per-view if you're watching from home. If you can't make it here, Rusty Rickard out front. Got the nine of Darren Chrysler holding on in a second spot. Almost three wide. The F1 of Mitchell Franklin thinks better of it. Backs off. He'll hold on to that fifth position for now. Got Steve Worf on the outside. Meanwhile, out front, the number one of Rusty Rickard. Doing what he used to. Been kind of a rough start for this 2022 season. 
Hopefully he got things lined out here. The number nine and Darren Chrysler holding on to the second spot. Steve Worf assuming that third position, but he's got 17H of Weston Holmes to his inside and the F1 of Mitchell Franklin looking to get around him. Holman falls back to that fifth spot. F1 of Franklin on full. Rusty Rickard Chrysler. Chrysler, Chrysler, oh no, not again. Tough break for the one. That will bring out the caution here. He does the very gentlemanly thing and stays up as high as he can on the track as to not get any fluids down there on the track. Tough break for the one of Rusty Rickard out front with motor trouble. So I've gave away a couple things. Another big help to us this year has been 417 Elite Studios. I'm going to hope, well, I'm going to pull two tickets. I hope one's a female, one's a male, because I've got a female and a male, or if you know somebody. <laughs> tickets number 3763 and 3667. That's super confusing. 763 and 667. Come and see me in the announcer's booth. A little lower, she says. Um, next time. <laughs> 763 and 667. Come and see me in the announcer's booth. Looks like we got a winner coming up. Somebody's super excited. Yay! I got one boy, one girl, two hearts beating wildly. 763 417 Elite Studios. You are going to get what I believe is a hair color. And you've got ticket number 667. We appreciate you, sir. Go down and visit our friends here or there at 417 Elite Studios. We appreciate them big time. Those are big money tickets, so don't lose those. We appreciate my friend Ozzy helping us out here at the track this year. We're proud to have them on. What else can I give away? I, just, I have a lot of things. Let's see here. Eh, what's in this one? Ooh, sunglasses. What is this? Tractor stuff. Let's give away some prizes from Xmark. Yeah, let's go with, let's give kid a hat. This hat wicks sweat and dries fast. Pull out your blue ticket. I need, I need 101418 to come see me up here in the announcer's booth. Again, that ticket number is 101418. It's going to be a blue ticket this time. I got an X mark cap for you. I think you could cinch it down for a children. Probably not. Maybe I should find something a little more appropriate. Here's some sunglasses. You have your choice. Ready to get things started off again here. Delaware double file restart. Tough break for the number one of Rusty Rickard, Darren Chrysler out front. Wharf in the F1 of Mitchell Franklin, a row number two, and the number 17 of Weston Holman out by their lonesome in the back. Lights are out. Chrysler gets them started. Here we go. Franklin looking at the bottom side of the nine machine as they go through one and two. Nine with the advantage on the outside. F1 hits that line pedal, falls behind. Chrysler with the lead on that top side, coming around the lead lap number three. And he will do so. F1 of Franklin tucks back in. 
Prisler out front by an advantage of 4.65. I said 4.65, I really meant 0.465. Steve Worf holding on at third spot, home and rounding out the field here as they come around for your halfway point of your B-modified heat race. Number two, the number nine out front, Darren Chrysler, this time by seven tenths of a second over Mitch Franklin on that F1 machine. Very good looking cars in this heat race. Chrysler out front, Franklin second, Wharf third, and Weston Holman falling behind by just a little bit. 1.2 seconds behind Steve Wharf in that fourth position. Still out front, the number nine, Oh, by about four or five car lengths over the F1 of Mitchell Franklin. Translates to about a one-second lead over the F1. Steve Worf, 1.1 seconds back from the F1. Coming around, a lap at number six. That's two phalanges in the air. Two to go this next time. This is going to be the white flag. Darren Chrysler and that number nine. Holding on for the lead after the one machine of Rusty Rickard. Falls and lap number two. White flag for the number nine machine. Still out front by half a second. The F1 of Mitchell Franklin been reeling him in those last couple of laps. We'll see if he's got enough to get himself back up front. Chrysler is going to take the win here. The number nine, Darren Chrysler, taking home heat race. Number two, Mitchell Franklin following up with that second spot. Steve Ward finishing third. And Weston Holman rounding out your field for everybody not watching on Facebook. The nine of Darren Chrysler coming home with the win after Rusty Rickard blows his motor. You know, lap number two, Mitchell Franklin was starting to reel him in there. Not enough time. Steve Worf finishing third and Weston Holman rounding out the field there. It's time for a little late model action. Again, still eight laps the distance here, starting on the pole out of Buffalo, Missouri, the 5JR of Rindle Amos. On his outside, Sean Eggeman. Yeah, out of Springfield, Missouri in the 16E. Inside a row number two out of Diamond, Missouri, it's gonna be the number 45 of Kylan Garner. On his outside out of Brighton, Missouri, the 5W of Derek Watson. Ames, Eggman, row number one, Garner, Watson, row number two. Again, still looking for kids, ticket 101-418. Green flag, here we go, number 45 of Kyle Garner out front. Garner out front all by themselves. Number 16 of Sean Eggman. In that second slot, golly, look how fast the number 45 is. Already about an eight car lead over that second spot. We'll see what that translates to in seconds. 17 second lap. That's the first 17 second lap I've seen all night. Two second lead over Sean Eggman and number 16E. Derek Watson currently holding on to that third spot. Ames in fourth. Just a walk in the park out front. 17.275. That's his next fastest lap. Sean Eggman, the only one not running their fastest lap that last time, but. Easy like Sunday morning. Number 45, Kylan Gordon. Hey, don't tell anyone I could sing out there in Facebook land. I'd appreciate that. 45, Kylan Gardner out front all by his lonesome. One whole lap. Half a lap, honey. One half a lap lead over the 16A of Sean Eggman already here. Halfway through, coming to lap number five. Going to be three to go. Kylan Garner, your leader, 16E of Sean Eggman in that second spot. Derek Watson, third, and the 5JR of Rendell Ames in that fourth spot.
past the 45, makes their way around, turns three and four. They're gonna look at the white flag for the number 45, Kylan Garner. Kylan Garner taking the white flag. Sean Eggman getting challenged by Derek Watson. Watson scored his second that last time by. Quick change of the flags. Checkered flag for the 45 of Kylan Garner. The 16 able to get that spot back from the five machine as they go in to the turn. 16 able to protect it. Uh, Eggman uh, will take that second spot. Watson finish the third. And Riddle Ames rounding out the field there. That'll do it for Heat Race, uh, number one, your late models. Heat Race, number two, about to make their way onto the track. Starting on the pole is going to be the number 83 of Chuck Comer. On Chuck's outside, Steve Johnson out of Joplin, Missouri, in the number 11. And starting in the rear, the quarter J machine of Jackson Ertl. Big thank you to Nat Bottom Parts. Metro Towing, k and Air Filter, Sun Solar, like you've seen out front. Be sure to visit www.ussunsolar.com. Get your free coat. Jerry Schweitzer with Century 21 Integrity Group, Stanfield Sanitation, Garbage and Rubbish Removal, Wesco Home Furnishings here in Manette, Missouri, Rusty Auto Parts out of Shell Knob. Big thank you to 417 Elite Studios. Big giveaways tonight. Torque Performance and Repair. Anna Joplin, Missouri. Grand Tire, located in Pier City. Aurora and Cassville. Davidson Sons Plumbing, Electrical Heating and Air. I guess we're going to go ahead and just do this thing with two. Lights are out. Ready to go. Comer on the inside. Earl on the outside. Green flag. Here we go. Jackson Erdl with the lead going into turn number one. We'll see what these guys run here. Lap number one coming into the books. Quarter machine at Jackson Ertle out front. Quarter J, rather. 18.548 for lap number one. Chuck Comer running a 19 second flat. Lap number two in the books here. Quarter J, Jackson Ertle still out front. Chuck Comer. In that number 83, a faster lap that time by. Just about matching Jackson Ertl there. Ertl running on 18.666. Comer running at 18.698. Still just about even with an 18.7 from both Ertl and Comer. Nobody with the advantage. Comer drops the tire off the back stretch as they go down the back. Jackson Ertl out front over Chuck Comer here. Again, if you're watching at home and you know anybody who's who raced any late models, we are honestly welcoming all classes to come out and race with us here at Monet Motor Speedway. It's an open invitation. Come and see us. It's only going to get bigger and better as we go on here. Out front, still got the quarter J machine of Jackson Ertl. Chuck Comer running as fast as that last time by. Two tenths of a second faster than Ertl. We'll see if he can start reeling them in as you see the track start coming in here. White flag for your leader, the quarter James of Jackson Ertl. Chuck Comer, eight tenths of a second behind. Coming around to take the checkered flag. Gonna be the quarter J machine of Jackson Ertl. Chuck Comer finishes 1.136 seconds behind the quarter J machine of Jackson Ertl. Jackson taking the win here. Heat race number two. That'll do it for the late models there. Up next, we got the Power Eye Super Stocks. 
Let's see. I need ticket number 3765. Come see me up here in the booth, 3765. Got a coolant flush from US Automotive Inc. Valued at $169.95. That is a heck of a price here. Big thank you to Terry Hyden and the US Automotive Group. Starting on the pole is going to be the number 69 out of Purdy, Missouri of Brian Brown. On us outside out of Schnuke, Kansas, is going to be the 66 of Jason Thurman. Inside, row number two, Kenny Shelton. Out of Galena, Kansas, is the number 19 machine on us outside. Tony Bowman in the 69B. Again, that number is 3765. Looks like we got a winner coming up. Green flag, here we go. Brian Brown with the lace. race lead heading into turn number one. He's got the 66 of Jason Thurman in that second spot. Kenny Shelton in the number 19, holding on to third. Coming around the lead lap number one is going to be Brian Brown. Brown with about a 1.227 second lead over Jason Thurman that last time by beautiful car, that number 66 of Jason Thurman. He's got about a half a second lead over Kenny Shelton. Kenny Shelton in that 19 machine at the Bowman. Let's see, Bowman is 1.627 seconds back from that 19 machine. Meanwhile, out front, about a half a straightaway lead for number 69 of Brian Brown. So far, running an average lap of 19.273. Had a faster second. Bowman spinning in at turn number four. Caution coming out here. Number 69B of Tony Bowman spinning in turn number four. You can see it puckered his butt just a little bit. It did mine a little bit. 69 machine of Bowman going off turn number four. Can I give a, a little kid a big old hat? I sure can try. I'm looking for ticket number 101419. Ticket number 101419. It's going to be a blue ticket. Come and see me in the announcer's booth if you'd like. Again, blue ticket 101419. Brian Brown out front, Jason Thurman. And Shelton, row number two. Bowman in row number four. to get this thing started. Three laps on the books. Green flag. Brown with the lead on the top side as it goes out of turn number two. The number 19 of Kenny Shelton able to take that second spot away. 66 of Jason Thurman. Falls back to that third spot. Tony Bowman. Bowman hitting the wall down the front stretch there. Bowman out front. Just kidding. Brown out front. Too many bees. front by a considerable amount.
think I got a mosquito in my throat. Brian Brown on the 69 out front. Kenny Shelton currently at that second spot, almost three seconds behind. White flag that last time by. Coming around, turns number three and four. Looking to check the checkered flag one more time. Brian Brown on that number 69 machine, the yellow and orange 69. Kenny Shelton coming home second. Jason Thurman in third. Bowman spinning out in turn number two. Takes her to the back. He will officially be scored in that fourth position. Big hi to Tally Shaw from home. Saying hi, babe. I wonder who she's talking to, Miss Tally. My good buddy, Tombo. Hey, can I get ticket number 3687? Come see me. 3687, come up to the announcer's booth. That's going to be a red ticket this time. Oh, I think I see him. Baby Blue. Baby Blue. Starting inside a row, number one is going to be Bob Barnett in that 27 machine on his outside. Caleb Brown in the number 68. And starting from a second row, going to be Michael Muskrat in that 164. We appreciate you all. Oh, what a beautiful sunset. Turn around. No, we're racing. Pay attention that way. What a beautiful sunset. Lights are out. We're ready to go racing here. Bob Barnett. Caleb Brown out front. Michael Muskrat in row number two. Green flag. Here we go. Bob Barnett out front. Caleb Brown's going to take a peeker down to the inside. See if he can take the lead here coming out of turn number two. Bob Barnett already with a win this year. I believe all these guys have won once. Maybe not Caleb. We'll see if he can make it his first win of the year here. 27 of Bob Barnett out front. Half a second lead over the 68 of Caleb Brown. Michael Muskrat currently holding on to that third position as we come around. Turns number three and four to finish lap number two. Here we go into lap number three. Caleb Brown holding on to second. Watching the back bumper of the 27 of Bob Barnett out front. One whole second lead. Caleb Brown gets a little squirrely, allows Michael Muskrat to do a little catching up there down the back stretch. Bob Barnett goes way high in the turns, number one and two. He's out there for a Sunday drive now. One and a half seconds out front of Caleb Brown, the number 68 machine. Michael Muskrat just seven tenths of a second behind the 68. Coming around, lap number five. 1.9 second advantage. Bob Barnett has over the 68 of Caleb Brown. Michael Muskrat another eight tenths of a second behind Caleb Brown. Going to be two phalanges in the air, this time by Bob Barnett, still out front. Bob Barnett, two and a half second lead over the 68 of Caleb Brown. Michael Muskrat still in third. White flag coming out for the number 27 of Bob Barnett. Barnett makes his way around down the back stretch. Here we go. Whole straightaway lead over the 68 of Caleb Brown. I don't anticipate anyone would catch him. He can coast to the lead and the win. 27 of Bob Barnett taking home the win here in your heat race. Number two, Power Eye Superstocks. Caleb Brown coming home three seconds behind in that second spot. Michael Muscarat. Four and a half seconds behind your leader. That will do it for a Power Eye Super Stocks Heat Race at number two, and that will do it for the Power Eye Super Stocks. Up next, little Amon Race. Starting on the pole is going to be the 15L out of Springdale, Arkansas, of Chris Lewis 
upon us outside out of Berryville, Arkansas, the number seven of Daniel Franklin. Inside, a row number two, the number 57 of Ryan Raspberry out of Salina, Oklahoma. Outside of the 57s, the 15P out of Rogers, Arkansas, of Preston Galloway. Inside, row number three, the quarter machine out of Neosha, Missouri, of Aaron Scroggins. And on us outside, Jim Greenway in the number 28 out of Galena, Missouri. Excellent racing from these guys last week. Again, big thank you to some of our sponsors tonight. SDS Properties, Miller Express, A&B Design, Junker Jake, Metro Towing, of course, and Roller Trucking, donating money to some of our classes here. Lewis and Franklin, row number one, Raspberry Galloway, Scroggins Greenway. Let's get this thing underway. Green flag, here we go. Initially, it looks like number seven of Daniel Franklin going down the back stretch. He's got the 15L of Chris Lewis on his inside. Lewis not going anywhere, coming through three and four. Going to be a drag race to see who lead lap number one. Looks like it's number seven of Daniel Franklin. Daniel Franklin out front heading into turn number one. Four tenths of a second lead over the 15L of Chris Lewis. Lewis, good run last week. We'll see what he can do this week. We've already got the number 20 of Jim Greenway, who also spent a lot of time out front in that third spot. Franklin leading a lap number three. In case you didn't catch that, that's a two and a three combined. We'll see if he can do it. Franklin out front over Chris Lewis in that 15L machine side by side. Greenway Galloway. Halfway through your heat race number one and your A modified. Daniel Franklin still out front. One second lead over 15L of Chris Lewis. Big racing here on the track from your third spot, Greenway Galloway. Battling it out, Ryan Raspberry in the rear, the quarter machine of Aaron Scruggins currently holding to fifth. Out front, number seven, Chris Lewis is reeling him in just a touch. He's only got a couple more laps to get anything done here. Your front two starting to break away a little bit. Franklin Lewis, everybody starting to pair up just a little bit here. Two to go that time by Franklin actually extending the lead over Chris Lewis that last time. It's going to be white flag this next time. Galloway doing all that he can to get past Greenway. He'll poke her down on the bottom side. White flag out for your leader, the number seven of Franklin. He gives him a little slide job, throws a little haymaker on the quarter machine. Franklin Lewis, Scroggins, your top three. Smoke. Out of the 15L of Lewis, checkered flag coming out. Going to be the seven of Daniel Franklin taking home the win. The 15L of Chris Lewis finishing in second. Another little poop of smoke as he heads into turn number one. Aaron Scroggins coming home in that third spot. Here comes Raspberry. Franklin taking home the win. Lewis finishing in that second spot. Aaron Scroggins in third. Greenway rounding out your top four. It is time for our Power Ride Midwest Modified A feature. Starting on the pole out of Chapel, Missouri. This is going to get confusing really, really fast. It's Kyle Thompson, last week's winner in the 292. On his outside in the 929, it's going to be Garrett Thompson out of Chapel, Missouri. Inside to row number two, tomorrow's birthday boy, turning 56 out of Crane, Missouri, the 12M of Ron Maples. On his outside to number three of Mason Martin. Row number three, inside, it's going to be 33 of... Steve Muhlenberg on us outside. The 42W of Matt Brandstetter. Row four po points leader, 195 of Tyler Dawson on us outside. Number four of Tyler Newson. Row number five is going to be the 55 of Danny Miller on us outside. Also 55. 
of Melvin Brizzy. Row number six in the number 17 machine gonna be Rick Lampy on his outside, the number 10 of Logan Parker. Row number seven is gonna be the number 14 of Nathan Young on his outside, the 7W of Wesley Breedlove. Row number eight is gonna be Bryson Stringer in the number 48 machine on his outside, Pete Richardson in the number 64. And starting in the rear, the 06 of Rocky McCleary. Thompson, Thompson, row number one, ready to get this thing started. And so am I, wheel to wheel, door to door. Here they come through three and four, let's get it on! <laughs> 292, Kyle Thompson out front. Eric Thompson currently in that second spot. Ron Maples, Mason Martin fighting out for that third position. Gonna be Kyle Thompson with the lead here, lap number one. Unfortunately, your points leader pulls into the middle. Tough break for the 195 of Tyler Dawson here. 292, Kyle Thompson out front by half a second over his teammate, 929, Garrett Thompson. Number three, and Mason Martin starting to reel him in here as they go into turn number three. Your top five breakaway from the rest of the pack here. Thompson, Thompson, Martin, Maples, Muhlenberg, your top five. Martin gonna look to the inside of Garrett Thompson as they look through three and four. Gonna try and get here through one and two, 929 up high. Mason Martin, that number three machine, down low. 292 of Kyle Thompson out front still here. Two, three laps in the books. Coming to lap number four. 292, Kyle Thompson out front by seven tenths of a second. Mason Martin, two tenths of a second behind Garrett Thompson. Rob Maples currently right fourth. Mason gonna look to the inside of Thompson as they come through three and four. Gonna try on that bottom side. Maples hurtingly holding on to that fourth spot. Muhlenberg in fifth. Number five in the books, a quarter of the way through your Power Eye Midwest Modified A feature. Thompson Show out front, get ready to come into lap traffic. Thompson able to get around him in the 292 machine. Gonna be a heck of a fight for the rest of your film as we got Ron Maples going off the back stretch. Heck of a mess, rounding out, shaking up your top five. Caution coming out here. What a crazy chain of events. Tyler Newson spinning there in turn number two. Leaders able to make it through lap traffic there safely for the most part. Two ninety-two of Kyle Thompson out front here. Five laps in the book. Garrett Thompson in that second spot. Mason Martin, Ron Maples, and Steve Muhlenberg. That's what it was the last lap, at least. Muhlenberg. Kyle Thompson out front. Garrett Thompson. Electing to go to the top side. That'll put Mason Martin on the bottom. Ron Maple, Steve Muhlenberger, row at number two. Matt Branster in the 42W. Currently being scored in that sixth spot. Tyler Newson. Causing the last caution will go towards the back. That'll put the 55 of Melvin Brizzy in that seventh spot. Rest of the field just now realizing Kyle Thompson is your pace setter. 
Green flag, here we go. Kyle Thompson out front. Here Thompson hold on, second spot, Mason Martin. Rock Steve Muhlenberg fighting for that third position. Rob Maples enters himself into that competition as well. Muhlenberg able still that third spot away from Martin. Heading in to turn number two down the back stretch. Five starting to break away. Top five, that is. Kyle Thompson breaking away from the rest of the field. Garrett Thompson currently holding that second spot. Steve Muhlenberg's going to look to the bottom side. Makes a mark for Rob Maples rounding out your top five. Maples is trying to get around the three as they come off a two. Ducks are back behind. Eight laps in the books here. Six minutes in to Power Ride Midwest Modify A feature. 292, Kyle Thompson out front. Garrett Thompson currently second. Steve Muhlenberg hanging in that third position. Mason Martin, a number three car in the fourth spot. Rob Maple currently sitting in fifth. Your top five breaking away from the rest of the field. He goes back to the 55 of Melba Brizzy. Tyler Newsom able to make his way back up to the seventh position. 17 of Rick Lampy holding on to that eighth spot. Muhlenberg in that third spot. Mason Martin. Four. 55B in that fifth spot. Green flag, here we go. Thompson out front. Looks like just a three car lead over the 929 of Garrett Thompson as they come around to finish halfway through. Get halfway through your Power Eye Midwest Modified. A feature Kyle Thompson, the leader Garrett Thompson, right behind him, six tenths of a second behind him. As a matter of fact, your top three this time breaking away. Steve Muhlenberg in that third spot. Mason Martin trying to do his best not to fall behind. Melvin Grizzy in that fifth spot. He's got the number four of Tyler Newsom right under him trying to take that five spot away. Twelve laps in the books here. Kyle Thompson leading from the get-go. Garrett Thompson. Right behind him, Steve Muhlenberg, Mason Martin, Melvin Brizzy. See these Midwest Modifieds using that way high line coming out of turn number four. We got a spin in number 14. coming out for the number 14 machine of Nathan Young spinning coming out of turn number four Thompson, Thompson, Muhlenberg, Martin, Bressy. That is your top five here. 12 laps in the books. 15 minute mark. Great flag. 
track. Here we go. Garrett Thompson with half of his driver's side door flying off. Getting a little air conditioning in there. Kyle Thompson, that 292. Out front still, Rob Immelberg in that third spot, looking to make it up to the top two. If I said Rob Muhlenberg, I'm very sorry, I meant Steve Muhlenberg. Mesa Martin holding on to that fourth spot, Melvin Brizzy. Good run off that bottom side, trying to catch up to the number three of Mason Martin. able to make it up to that sixth spot one more time. Right behind the 55B of Brizzy. Good run, he's right all over the back bumper. Looking to go around him on that top side. No room up there. Kyle Thompson still out front. We got a caution. are telling me 20 minutes. Green flag, here we go. We got body panels flying up everywhere. Possible problems on the 12 machine at Maples, unfortunately. 292, Kyle Thompson out front still here, three quarters of the way through. Again, Thompson, a four tenths of a second lead over the 929. F. Garrett Thompson, Steve Muhlenberg, and that third, third spot, Mason Martin, and another 50. Down again, top five. Three to go. Two to go this next time. Bye. are out and we're ready to go. Got all the safety crew off of the track there. Green flag, here we go. to Kyle Thompson out front. Two ninety two Kyle Thompson taking the win. Garrett Thompson. Coming in second, Steve Muhlenberg in that third spot. Mason Martin coming home fourth. And Melvin Bressley rounding out your top five here in your Pat Ride Midwest Modified. That'll do it. 292, Kyle Thompson making it two in a row. Doing a little donut. I don't know what's happening. 
He can't figure out which side is the good side. All right, before we send this next set of cars out, big congratulations to the 292 coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, please get off the track, guys. Got off the track. We got cars coming out. Congratulations to the 292, Kyle Thompson taking home the win there. I apologize, hon. <laughs> There's miscommunication. This feature started here in our Power Eye Pure Stocks. Starting on the pull out of Bodark, Missouri, the 3-3-T of Tyrell Jones. On his outside, the number 17 of Landon McLaughlin. Inside, a row number two out of Fairgrove, Missouri, the number seven of Carla Lampy. On Carla's outside, current points leader, number 53 of Kevin Young. Inside, row number three, the number 54 of Dean Kimberling. On Dean's outside, Brandon Sanders, the number 64. Row number four is going to be the number 12 of Greg Dick Dykstra on Greg's outside, Wayne Morris out of Miami, Oklahoma, the number 45. Row number five is going to have the 531 of Jordan Goddard on his outside, the number 14 of Jonathan Finley. Row number six shows the number four of Caleb Rhodes on Caleb's outside, the 69 of Dylan Bowman. Inside a row number seven, the 23R of Jeff Reed on his outside, John Heisenrichens in the numbers 15. Inside row number eight, the number 14 of Tom Scroggins on his outside, the number six of Corey Henson. And uh, starting on row number nine, the number 55 of Ben Babb and the 57 of Rick Raspberry. A couple cars not able to make it out. Looks like 16 starting out of 18. Missing Raspberry and I believe Tyrell Jones, lights are out. Green flag, here we go. 20 laps, the distance are 20 minutes. Tyrell Jones, Landon McLaughlin out front. Your top four start to break away. McLaughlin on the inside of Jones. Coming around to lead lap number one, the 33T of Tyrell Jones. Top four, starting to break away from the rest of the field. Carla Lampy gets a little loose. Yacht gives a little push. We stay green. A lot of good side-by-side -side racing all the way through the front, but mainly 33T, Alana McLaughlin. Staying side-by-side. Side. McLaughlin gives a little slip up there. Tyrell Jones out front. Narrow margin that last time by, just two tenths of a second. Tyrell Jones still out front, one of the golf in that second spot. Carla Lampy third. Kevin Yard rounding out your top four. That ends that first. 
group of cars. Wayne Morris in that fifth spot, leading that second group. Guarded behind him, Sam Sanders, Dykstra, and Bowman. Group number two. Again, your top four cars all stand close together there. Just three seconds. Two and a half seconds, I'm sorry. Between the top four. They start to spread out just a little bit. Again, Jones, your leader here, coming to lap number six. McLaughlin in that second spot. Carla Lampy third. Kevin Yon in the fourth. Side by side, we got the 45 and 53 doing a little bumping. 53 will jump up ahead of Wayne Norris getting into that top five. The 53 is going to be the 531 of Jordan Goddard. Tyrell Jones and McLaughlin still out front. Racing hard for that win. McLaughlin just clued to the back bumper of Tyrell Jones. Gives him a little push. He's going to dive her down on the inside. Try to take the lead here on lap number eight. Going to lap number nine. McLaughlin on the bottom side. Tyrell Jones up top. He'll look down to the bottom side again, but he's got the lap car of Corey Henson just a little further up. Tyrell Jones, still your leader halfway through. Benjamin Bapp slow on the back stretch. Hopefully everybody gets around him. Tyrell Jones up high. McLaughlin looking to go down low. They've got lap car number six. Everybody able to get around the six machine there as they come around lap number 11. Top two, Tyrell Jones, Lana McLaughlin out front. Your front four really still hanging on very, very close. Lofton just two tenths of a second behind. Picking a terrible time to split the sheets. Here they go. Everybody able to make it around lap traffic one more time. Now we're getting to our fast cars that we're going to start lapping. Again, Tyrell Jones out front line of McLaughlin second, Carl Lampy third. Very much time between all of them. Looks like Lena McLaughlin's going to look again to the inside. We'll see if we can make anything happen here as we got, oh, spin here, the quarter machine of Scroggins. Jones still the man out in front to beat. Lena McLaughlin holding on to the second spot. Carla Lampy. McLaughlin going to look to the inside. He gives a little push. Fifty-four car. Oh, he gives a little push. Side by side, little body shoving. This is going to get exciting as we come to three to go. Tyrell Jones still out front, Linda McLaughlin in that second spot on the bottom side. The story builds as we come to two to go this next time by Tyrell Jones still out front. Lap traffic is certainly going to play 
A huge part. White flag coming out here. Checkered flag. All right, helmets off, cars off. I bet he can hear you now. The 33T of Tyrell Jones coming home, taking home the win here. Thousand a win here. In our Power Eye Pure Stocks division. I believe this is his second win this year. Again, big round of applause coming out of Bodark, Missouri, the 33T of Tyrell Jones taking home the win. Kurt, row number one, Franklin Woodcock, Wharf Hilton, Turnbull Holman, Hickson Rickard, minus Rickard. Green flag, here we go. Three wide down the front stretch, Holman gets shuffled out. Kirk and Chrysler out front. Kirk assuming the lead here, coming out of turn number four. Woodcock looking to get in that third spot. He's got the F1 right behind him. Paulson with the lead, six tenths of a second over Chrysler in the number nine machine. All three fighting for that second spot. If it sounds like I'm questioning, it's because I got a little slow there. Brains first up, it's late in the night. Again, Colson Kirk out front, Chrysler's in that second spot, Woodcock Franklin routing out your top four. Steve Ward in that group number two back there. Trying to reel in that front group. 55 of Colson Kirk really starting to break away now. He's got a 1.3 second advantage over Darren Chrysler and Mitchell Franklin. Mitchell Franklin is trying to fight his way down on, on the bottom. He'll tuck back in. Chrysler, Franklin, Woodcock, second, third, fourth, respectively, all tucked in. Franklin's going to dive around the bottom, look to get around the number nine machine. Advantage to the nine on that top side. F1 very fast off that bottom of the two. They dive back into turn number three. Black number nine and Chrysler Franklin. That red F1. Colson Kirk holding on out front. Chrysler and Franklin fighting for that second position. Woodcock out the best seat in the house right behind both of them. Steve Ward holding on currently to a fifth position.
Colson Kirk out front here. Seven laps of 20 in the books. Colson Kirk out front for all seven so far. Darren Chrysler currently holding on a second spot, battling out with the F1 of Mitchell Franklin. Woodcock starting to fall off the pace of the fast cars as we speak. Looks like the 55 team, James Turnbull, taking her off the track. Chrysler trying to rake away from the F1 of Metro Franklin in real end now 55 of Colson Kirk. I don't know if he's enough time or real estate. Nine laps in the books here of your B modified A feature. Again, the 55 with a 2.7 second lead over the nine to Derek Chrysler, Mitchell Franklin, another seven tenths back from that nine machine. Greg Woodcock, 1.3 seconds back off the F1. Everybody real spread out here as we hit halfway through our B modified A feature. Spin there in turn number one. Weston Holman spinning on his lonesome between one and two. Excellent racing so far. Halfway through our B-modified A feature. Colson Kirk showing the way. The big battle was for second. Chrysler starting to break away from the F1 of Franklin. Woodcock kind of getting hung out by himself. Worf and Holman were battling. We are four and a half minutes into our B-Modified A feature. Of course, we allow 20 minutes for each race. This being the first caution. Everybody looks lined up perfectly. Yes, Kirk out front, Chrysler Franklin, a row number two. Green flag, here we go. Colson Kirk getting back to where he wants to belong. F1 of Franklin able to get a good restart this last time by. Able to get around the nine of Derek Persler. Woodcock still holding on that fourth spot. Proud of block. Number 42 of Steve Worf. Kelly Chick Hicks gets spun. We'll see if he can get it fixed back up. Takes it to the infield. Kelly Chick Hicks bringing out the second caution of the night. Kelly Chick Hicks picking up first win of the season last week in that number 32 machine. Fifty-five of Colson Kirk still out front. Franklin Chrysler, row number two. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
green flag. Here we go. Colson Kirk still out front. Mitchell Franklin fight from the bottom. Derek Chrysler able to get around Franklin. Hold on to that second spot. The F1 will fall back to that third position. Holman able to make it up to fourth around the 22 of Greg Woodcock. Colson Kirk out front. Number nine to Darren Chrysler, Mitch Franklin, Weston Holman and Woodcock rounding out your top five. Woodcock able to get around Holman that last time. Still side by side racing. Somewhere in it. Coming to 15 last three quarters away. Through your B modified A feature, Colson, Kirk, Derek, and Chrysler, Mitchell Franklin, Greg Woodcock, and Weston Homer rounding out your top five so far. to the white flag this next time by the 55 of Colson Kurt. One more time around for the 55. Dominant. Dominant night so far for the 55. Thought Darren Chrysler would have something for Mitchell Franklin as well, but it was all 55 all night. Here are the checkered flags for the 55 of Colson Kurt. Darren Chrysler coming in second. Mitchell Franklin Woodcock and Holman rounding out your top five. Victory for that 55 of Colson Kirk. Able to overcome a couple of cautions there. I thought Crystal would have something for him, but every restart, the 55 just jumped out front. Got it. Coming from the outside pole out of Urbana, Missouri, it's going to be the number 55 of Colson Kirk taking home the win. Big round of applause for the 55. Excellent. B modified A feature. Dominant, dominant race. If you're wondering about the 50-50, they're supposed to be bringing it up to me here shortly, so I apologize. I, I can't read my text while I'm uh, <laughs> announcing. Got the late models coming out next.
One more big round of applause for the 55 of Colson Curry as he climbs back in the car. All right, as so we get the 55 of Colson Kirk pushed off the track here. We will bring on your late model A feature. Starting on the pole out of Diamond, Missouri, is going to be the number 45 of Kylan Garner. On his outside, it's going to be the 14J of Jackson Ertle. Inside row number two is going to be Chuck Comer in the number 83. On his outside, the 16E of Sean Egeman. Inside row number three, the 5W of Derek Watson. On his outside, Rendell Ems in the 5JR. And starting on by their lonesome in the number 11, Steve Johnson. Out of Joppa, Missouri. Starting from row number four. Green flag, here we go. Out front immediately, Kylan Garner with the lead. Garner out front by about five cars over the quarter. J of Jackson Ertle as they make their way for a lap number one. here in our late model A feature. Kylan Garner out front all by himself. The quarter, Jameson and Jackson Ertle, Chuck Comer rounding out your top three. Going back to number four is going to be Derek Watts and able to get around Sean Eggman. Eggman rounding out your top five, Randall Evans. Forty-five of Kylan Garner sounds awesome as he heads down the front stretch. This will be lap number four. Kylan Garner goes down into row. Row. Turn number two down the back stretch. Sydney didn't hear that, Mr. Thomas. 45. Finishing another lap here. Six in the books. Jackson Ertle. Let's see how far he is behind here. 5.922 seconds. Chuck Comer. In that third spot, Derek Watson. Sean Eggman rounding out your top five. Pretty spread out racing here. May just be the difference between an open and a catch. Number five machine of Randall M. Takes it off the track there. Comer with a good run. He'll get a poke it down the bottom. Not able to get down there. Quarter J machine of Jackson. It'll protect that bottom side as they come through to lap number nine, eight. Quarter J machine to get a look to that top side. Thinks better of it. Texts her back in. Kylan Garner down the front stretch. Halfway through your late model A feature. Comer and Ertle fight for that second spot. Ertle holding on, protecting that bottom side. Good run for Comer on that top side, going the hard way around. Sticks it in, doesn't let out. He'll hold on to that second spot as he gets around that quarter championship. Garner, Comer, Ertle, your top three now. Watson and Eggman.
couple of loud biggity bangs from the 83 machine at Chuck Comer. I believe it'll be all right. That's just my wild guess. 45 of Colin Garner still out front. 8.538 seconds. Garner running an average of 18.7. I'm sorry, 18.37. 18.411 now. Half a second faster than anybody else. Three quarters away through your late model A feature. Kylan Garner still out front. Chuck Comer in that second spot. We're currently holding on to that third position. Derek Watson and Eggerman rounding out the field here. Again, if you have any buddies to do late model racing, tell them to come down and visit us here at Mud Up Motor Speedways. We're trying to build this thing up. Really, we'll race any class. Somebody else suggested earlier in the night we race 10 speeds. I mean, we can do it for the right amount of money. Seventeen laps. Out of 20 in the books, Kylan Garner, Easy Money out front, Chuck Coleman, Jackson Ertle. Two to go that last time by. By the time I could say that's really one and a half to go, about the time I say one and a half, here comes the white flag. Got a white flag out for the 45 of Kylan Garner. Chuck Comer, Jackson are still kind of close. Here he comes around, turn number four, taking the win here, the number 45 of Kylan Garner. while I have your ear. Hey, congratulations to Kyler and Garner in that number 45 machine, but if you would, please take out your 50-50 tickets there. It came out to 100 even. 100 goes to you, I mean. Ticket number 177754. That's going to be your purple tickets. 177754. Come and see me in the announcer's booth. 177754. For your 50-50. I know the car's off. I think the helmet's off. He's pulling himself out big. Congratulations to the 45 of Kylan Garner taking home the win here in our late model eight feature. Again, I am looking for ticket number 177754. Come and see me in the announcer's booth. That's a purple ticket. 
One more big round of applause for Colin Garner in that 45 coming out and seeing us here at Mona and Motor Speedway. We appreciate you coming out. Okay. Taking all our money. 1,200 to win. Again, that ticket, I'm going to give you one or two more chances here. 177 754. Come up and see me in the announcer's booth. Time to get this thing started with the Power Eye Super Stocks here. Last call for 177754, and then I will draw another one. Again, total came out to 200 total. 100 is the split. All right, it's time for your Power Eye Super Stock. A feature coming out. Starting on the pole, the number 69 out of Purdue, Missouri, is going to be Brian Brown. On his outside, the number 27 of Bob Barnett. Inside to run over to the number 19 of Kitty Shelton. On his outside, Caleb Brown in the 68. Inside to row number three, number 66 of Jason Thurman. On his outside, the 164 of Michael Muskrat. And starting on the tail is going to be 69B of Tony Bowman. Lights are out, time to go, baby. Brown and Barnett bring them around three and four, get this thing started. 69 of Brown out front on that top side. Barnett also on that top side. Brian Brown out front, Bob Barnett. Caleb Brown, your top three is ahead in the turns. Number three and four coming around for a lap number one. Brown, Barnett, Brown, your top three. Muskrat, Shelton, Thurman, Bowman rounding out the field here. Number 66 of Thurman trying to get around the 19 of Kenny Shelton there, but he tucks right back in. Out front still, the 69 of Bowman. Brown, I rather. Brown with a 1177 advantage over the number 27 of Bob Barnett. Caleb Brown holding on to that third spot. Michael Muskrat, Kenny Shelton. Uh, 
caution coming out for the 69B of Bowman. Spinning in turn number two. All right, got a new ticket number. It's going to be 177707. 707, your last three numbers. Check that purple ticket. That's your 50 50 ticket. 707, the winner. Come up and see me in the announcer's booth. Your top three, ready to get started. Two laps in the books. Almost three wide, going into turn number one and two. Bob Barnett and Caleb Brown battling for that second spot. Machine still out front. Bob Barnett, Caleb Brown, we're side by side. Bob Barnett takes the advantage. 69, a Bowman takes her off the track. Sixty-nine. Brian Brown still out front. Bob Barnett, Caleb Brown. holding on to that third position. Brown out front, and the margins continues to get a little smaller. Bob Barnett starting to reel him in just a little bit, just a little bit over a one second lead for Brian Brown over Bob Barnett. Caleb Brown starting to fall back in that third spot. Muskrat starting to wheel him in just a little bit. 19 machine of Kenny Shelton pulls her to the back. That'll leave just five. Bob Barnett really narrowing the gap there on that last one. It looked like it. Brown and Michael Muskrat becoming a little closer here. Lap number 13 here. Lucky number lap 13. Brian Brown still either out front. 
that last one was a bit of a squeeze. As you see, Bob Barnett and the number 27 start to really close the gap there. That time it was a little wider. Just seven tenths of a second. Splitting up between three and four there. That's going to be Caleb Brown and Michael Muskrat. Jason Thurman. A little over three seconds back from that second pack. Five seconds separating the top two from your second two. Brian Brown dominant so far from the pole. Looking to take home what I believe would be his second win of the year. Seventeen laps in the books here. Brian Brown still out front. Bob Barnett holding on in second spot. He's only going to have a couple more laps to get this thing finished. Two phalanges in the air for Bob Barnett trying to chase down Brian Brown on that number 69 machine out front. One second separates the two. This time it's going to be a white flag as they come through. Three and four. Down the front stretch one more time around. For your leader of the 69, Brian Brown. A little smoke coming from that 27 machine of Bob Barnett. He doesn't lose any ground on the 69, though, as they go down the back stretch. He's going to give it his all as they come around. Three and four, taking the checkered flag. Gonna be the win. This 69, Brian Brown. Michael Muskrat gonna give it one more shot. Looking to get around the 68 of Caleb Brown. He's not gonna get it done. Caleb Brown gonna come home in third. Michael Muskrat fourth. Jason Thurman rounding out your top five. Brian Brown, Bob Barnett, Caleb Brown, Michael Muskrat, and Jason Thurman rounding out the field there. Brown taking home, I believe, is. Second or third win. It's not his first, though. We can still be happy for him. He does a lot for the track here also. We appreciate him for helping us out this year. Brown Litter. A couple teammates. Top three. I know we got a lot of Brian Brown fans here, and hopefully we made a couple more with the giveaways this evening. I believe the helmet is off. The car is off. He could probably hear you now. Big hoop and a holler for the 69 of Brian Brown. And while he's out there, the 68 of Caleb Brown as well with the top three finish. A lot of Berryville, Arkansas. It's going to be the number seven of Daniel Franklin. On his outside out of Springdale, Arkansas, the 15L of Chris Lewis. Inside to row number two is going to be the quarter machine of Aaron Scroggins out of Neosha, Missouri. On his outside, Galena, Missouri's 28 of Jim Greenway. And starting on the rear, going to be the 15P out of Rogers, Arkansas, Preston Galloway and Ryan Raspberry out of Salina, Oklahoma in the number 57. Franklin Lewis ready to get this thing started. 20 laps the distance. Green flag. Here we go. Scroggin slides up in front of the 28 machine. Make sure he can't get that run. Boy, speaking of runs, look at that 15 L of Chris Lewis jumping out to the front in front of Franklin. Lewis on the top side. Franklin on the bottom side. Scroggin's looking to get in the mix here. Lap number one. One lap in the book. It's going to be Chris Lewis out front. Franklin on the bottom side. 
trying to get around him. Scroggins with a good run off that top side. Lewis still out front here. Two laps in the books. Chris Lewis out front. One, almost a second. Eight tenths of a second over Daniel Franklin. I bet it'll be a second as they come around this time by Aaron Scroggins in that third spot. Greenway, Preston, Galloway. Again, Lewis out front by almost nine tenths of a second over the number seven of Daniel Franklin. Aaron Scroggins in that third spot. Greenway and Preston Galloway, your top five. Everybody really starting to get stretched out here as we get into lap four of 20. Coming to lap five of 20 in the 15 now. Chris Lewis extends his lead from two, all the way to one point one. Smoke there in turn number three. I believe it's your leader for 15 hour Chris Lewis. Smoke as he enters turn number one as well. Fifteen L of Chris Lewis out front. Daniel Franklin, Aaron Scruggs, top. Three really starting to break away here as we get closer to our halfway point. Good, good turn for three and four on Scroggins and he uses that high side. Franklin and Scroggins really starting to narrow the gap here <laughs> on the 15 0 Chris Lewis. Jim Greenway kind of out there in no man's land. Not really up front, not really in the bank. Just able to take. That three-way battle for first in from the best seat of the house. Scrog is going to take a look to the inside. Not able to do anything with it. Trying to get around Franklin for that second spot. Chris Lewis still out front. Aaron Scroggins way high, trying to find some of that new dirt, get you a little speed. Just past halfway here, a little laps in the books of 20. Scroggins with the Chris loses. Whoa, look at that move on the top. Aaron Scroggins goes around Daniel Franklin. Chris Lewis trying to use his smokescreen tactics. We'll see if it works on the quarter machine of Aaron Scroggins. He's got six more laps to get it done. Lewis leading this thing all the way so far. Realized it probably that the quarter machine has reeled him in. Diving her down to the bottom side, gonna throw a haymaker here on lap number 15. It may cost him that second spot. Lewis really burning up the tires. Breaking to the bottom side. A Scroggins here. Scroggins pays the price for trying to get in on that. Oh, 
three to go that time by Crystal is still out front by seven tenths of a second over the quarter machine of Aaron Scroggins. Daniel Franklin currently holding on third spot. Your top three all by their lonesome. As in that no lap course. Oh, there is a spin. Everybody able to make it around the 57 machine of Ryan Raspberry after Raspberry spinning there in turn number two. Lights are out. Lewis cranks are up. Let's get it up. Franklin going to challenge for the lead down on the bottom side. Chris Lewis is fast on that top side. Scroggins able to poke himself back into that second spot. Heck of a run off that top side. White flag coming out. Out of the checkered flag into the 15L of Chris Lewis. Lewis with the hard fought victory. We'd like to see a little excitement here at Mono Motor Speedway. That's right, make your own victory lane. He's in the correct victory lane now. After creating his own there on the front stretch. I think he's out of the car. It's then going to be the 15L of Chris Lewis out of Springdale, Arkansas. Taking home the win in your A modified A feature. That will take us to our 50 lap enduro race. Again, 50 laps the distance, 24 entries tonight. We will be running these 50 lap enduro races every week from now on. $35 is the entry fee. One more big round of applause for the 15L of Chris Lewis. It's time for your 50 lap enduro race. Sponsored by Slip and Slide. Side to add a little excitement to it. Do a little testing here. Make sure all the transponders are good. Because if your transponder does not work at the end of the race and you miss laps, well. You do not get that position. 
So, I don't think last time I got to give everybody driver info. In the 17T, it's going to be Ben Light out of Fair Play, Missouri. In the 17J, Jesse O'Brien. Kevin Yacht is going to be in the 195 machine. Luke McCullough out of Crane, Missouri is going to be in the 37. Cody Seven, what? Cody Smith out of Marshville, Missouri is going to be in the number five. James DeWitt in the 930 out of Pineville, Missouri. Rick Lampy in the number 17 out of Fairgrove, Missouri. Michael Gillis in the 33 out of Clever. Josh Paul in the Tie-Dye Warrior, 82, out of Neosho, Missouri. Derek Lampy in the 174 out of Springfield. Scott Simmons in the 06 out of Springfield. Tyrell Jones in the 33T out of Bodor. Tom Scroggins in the quarter machine out of Neosho. Scott Lampy in the 179 out of Fairgrove. Darren Moyers out of Fairgrove also in the 321. Jackson Ertl in the quarter J. Michael Bryson in the number 22. Clay Goodman in the 32. Cecil Brown in the number 11. Michael Grosbeck out of Filmington, Missouri. Going to be in the 32X. Daniel Burks in the number 70. Michael Carver in the 88. Adam Brown in the 113. And Jeremy Jones in the number 50. Dropping like flies. Three, two, one, go. And away we go. We're already wrecking over there on the back stretch. Looks like a grand old time. 37 machine out front. Your leader. The watermelon 33 coming up in that second spot. That's the only way I can describe it. A little blocking going on here. One getting pushed off the top. We'll see if they can make it back around. I believe the race lead is for the 33 and the 179 going down the back stretch currently.
All right, we got the 174 pushed off. We literally have four laps to go here. Currently, your leader is the number 32. In case you were all wondering. Number 32. It's so loud. Of Clay. What's his name? Sorry, I've got no computer information. The 32. Give it up for him. Did a fantastic job. Dominant. I think he really almost led the whole thing. Your top five is going to be the 32, 33, 37, 50, and the 32X. We will see you next week here at Motor, Motor Speedway. Yeah, big round of applause for that guy, number 32. Clay Goodman is the name. <laughs>